relief at last for northern Kenya's drought-affected people, livestock and wildlife. It's been raining for a few weeks and previously patched dams now hold water. This is the first proper wet season for at least three years. The nomads though say the rains are far from enough. Sure. Abdullahi Ibrahim lost 120 cows during the dry spell. He says he fears for his remaining head. We are better than we were, but the rains don't look promising. We might not have enough pasture and water till the next rainy season, which we are also not sure whether we will receive any rains. What's happening here is the slow death of an existence. Pastoralism is being destroyed by severe and successive droughts. And government officials say more than 60% of this region's nomads dropped out after their livestock perished in the last drought. Settlements like this one are springing up almost everywhere along the region's main roads. Its inhabitants are made of a mushrooming class of displaced pastoralists, no longer self-sufficient and condemned to live at the very margins of life. They have little access to health care, sanitation and every other basic necessity. At the village of La Fale, just outside Wajia town, a group of women have come together to build a hut for a newly displaced family. It's all they can do to welcome them. When a new family joins us, we build shelter for them. Everyone at the village contributes what they can, be building materials or food to help the family settle. Having nothing, the nomads are forced to take what menial jobs they can. For six-year-old Abe Ali moved to town with his children and two wives when his 200 goats and 60 cows died during the drought. He now makes cement from burning limestone. In a good month, he will make 50 American dollars. I wish I'd lost my livestock 25 years ago. I could have coped better with life in town. I lost all my time tending livestock. That just went with the drought. Though they long for their lost lives, these people know that they are here to stay. The all too frequent droughts have left them unable to restock their animals. They are now environmental refugees whose lives have changed, utterly and forever. Mohamed Adou Al Jazeera, Wajia, Kenya.